Hi everyone, uh, Wendy here, uh, coming to you from Cebu in the Philippines, and this is a video on how to prepare, one of the ways to prepare cacao for cacao ceremony. So um, there are different ways, and um, but this is the one that, that we recommend for, for single serving or for a couple servings. Um, when I've had to serve cacao to a crowd, um, I would proceed in a different manner. I would actually um, get a big pot, put the cacao, and then um, have the water and have it uh, warm up in that way. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be boiling because that obviously the heat would affect the um, the chemical um, components in the cacao. So um, try to get. Uh, cacao that you're familiar with. They're, here in the Philippines, there, there are different varieties. Today I'm using this one. Uh, it's from Bohol, which is an island nearby Cebu City where I have been based. And so it's just make sure it's 100% cacao. Um, if, it, if you can get it organic, that's even better. <clears throat> and so uh, it comes in different formats, sometimes pellets. Um, these ones come in these. These are actually really nice because they're easy to, to chop. Because that's that's what we're gonna do this morning. So for a ceremonial cup, uh, it's between 20 and 30 grams. So I already had 30 grams of cacao earlier today. Um, so I'm just gonna do 20 grams for now. And this is really useful if you're if you're serious about your cacao. Of course, you can also just calculate um, dividing the you know how many grams per container this is 70 grams for 15 tablets so you just do your math if you don't have the scale um, I'm a big fan of scales so I'm gonna uh, just use this clear glass so we can see what it looks like so here I go and I'm just gonna oops I'll just do 20 grams so this is what 20 grams looks like about this much and what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna chop chop it and like I said this is really it's easy to chop because it's so fine so chop it <clears throat> got my kitchen knife here doesn't have to be too fine really um, just so it will be easier to melt so I, I, this is what you want to do ideally for yourself uh, again if it's a bigger group obviously it'll take more time to chop and then um, you can add different things in your cacao um, I like to add cinnamon so a little bit of cinnamon here and a little dash of cayenne pepper just to give it a kick and later we could actually sweeten it I like to sweeten with agave um, but some people choose to drink it uh, without sugar. So we're not using any milk. Uh, please no dairy. You can use um, nut milk if you want. So please note that since this is, uh, we're doing ceremonial cacao for, for heart opening, for healing, this process starts actually as early as when you select your cacao. And um, you can start, you know, when as you chop, you can already start um, infusing the cacao with your intention, with your mindfulness, yeah? So, um, now I have uh, my hot water, so it's not boiling anymore, and I'm just gonna add enough to cover the, the cacao. <clears throat> so really just enough to cover it, and I'm gonna mix it up till it melts, so. <laughs> Yeah, and it melts quite easily because um, because of the because it's been chopped, right? So this is a consistency. It's like a kind of a, saw, a thick sauce. Just get it really, really, really smooth. So we do this little by little. This is kind of the trick to keep it nice and smooth. Um, Just keep it, keep adding that hot water until you get your cup. And like I said, you can add agave, you can add a nut milk. I like coconut milk, um, but for sure you can use other other nut milk. So here it is, 
Mm -hmm. Enjoy.